Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Terra Ventures. We're up to episode 37 I believe and today we're going to be doing things in our new or our long-term project of our stadium. So what we're planning to do for today is to start work or if we can finished work on the second level of this stadium. So at the moment it's pretty full, it's got quite a bit of things in it but I do want to extend this all the way around and have a second level of seating. The main things will be how to get up there, so what I'm thinking there is a couple of elevators on these, or dark oak stairwells, onto the second floor from, say, on these flat walls, so there'll be quite a few of them, so one there, two, three, four, and so on, and definitely one here. And then we'll be able to work out how far this needs to go out, and then come down again, and where we want to stop it because we don't want to go all the way out otherwise this entire thing will be in shade the idea is to have in theory the sun would cast shadows it doesn't in the shader pack i've got at the moment so it the sun would cast shadows it would it it will come up to about maybe here so that's not a lot of seating actually and but it'll just make a little look a little bit full you may also note on the sides I've now gotten a few more vomitoriums, which is the word for this going in and out, if you didn't know that. So it's got a few more of those vomitoriums coming in and out to, uh, well, vomit people forward, but to, to put forward people forward into the, from the, what do you call these bits, the underground bit where the toilets and all the food vendor ships will be. So quite a bit of plans. So let us get started. Let's first plan out and figure out where we want the second level to be, which will be quite a challenge because I've been trying to think about that for quite a while. And then we'll start work on building up the rest of the seating and all that. So let's get started on that. Okay, so we've made a little bit of a start on this thing. We've got ourselves a staircase. We did want this a little bit higher or a little bit like this. So there's a little bit of height here and we are going to put some lights in here. So I wanted it this high and it's time to sleep. What we, what we wanted this high so we can put some bit of wood or something here, just a little bit to make it brighter because at the moment you've got dark concrete, you've got the gray concrete, the gray concrete and the cyan terracotta, which all of which is quite dark. So we do want to light this thing up a bit. The other thing that we are going to be doing, if I can quickly make my way up here, is instead of having the stair this at this level and then going down, this is going to be the base level. So this go this is going to be the bottom as far down as it goes. So it is going to be a little bit high up from there. It's going to c come out like this quite a few quite a way and then move upward. So you're going to say occasionally there'll be the uh, pathway through. You'll go all the way through and then turn around and your staircases will be on the left or right going up. Somewhat similar to this over here. So uh, you'll come out through here and your staircases will be on the left and the right, just like that. So let's, well first let's sleep. Let's get into our into our bed, which is in our nice trading hall over here, and then get started on moving the, or getting the stuff done. Okay, so as you can see, I have built up the other side of this thing, or I've built up this wall quite a bit, and you can see the one staircase going there. I'm not entirely satisfied with it. I think it needs to go down a couple more blocks. So there'll be, of course, the base level there, but it needs to go down by a couple more. That might sort of upset the plan I had for it. So I might have to figure that out a little bit more. So what I really should do is figure out where I want the two, the staircase to go. And then I need to put in quite a few more bits and bots. So there'll be the glass or so wall to stop people coming, falling down. And then I need to put in the staircases which it's not going to be as big but it should be enough of an indicator to see if this is going to work and now having a look at this i think it's just it's yeah it's not quite right it just is a little bit too small so the idea i suppose i could bring this down a little bit more by a couple more blocks maybe i don't know two or three i think it's really the window the entrance gates behind it that's spoiling the view i think it's just flat very 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 flat uh, and so I, yeah just and not really certain what to do with that obviously under here i'm going to have to do quite a bit more lighting and from here the view is still okay from here anywhere the view is still pretty okay 
so there's still quite a bit more work to be done. I don't have to, I suppose I could bring this down entirely more, but I think it's just the flatness of it all. So what I should, ow, probably do is not fall down. What I should probably do is to figure out how I can get this concrete down at an, at an angle, so a little bit more, and bring this bring this entire thing down, so a little bit a little bit more to go on working on working this out. So it's still quite tricky, but progress is being made towards a much bigger, much more full stadium. Okay, after a little bit more building, we've managed to get ourselves something that looks not that much better, if I'm honest. Let's just fly. I've only got three rockets left. So, but yes, as you can see, I've dug this down a little bit more. I've got quite a bit more I could actually do if I really wanted. I could come down another few blocks. But what I'm really thinking is that this just isn't it isn't the right height. Then again, I can't go much higher. So it's really hard to figure out exactly the right place to put this thing and the right height to put all this. Can I make it there? No, just so close. A waste of a rocket, really. Anyway, so that is just not quite right, in my opinion, but I, there's not much I can do about it if I want to have a second layer. So I guess I'm going to have to stick with that, and hopefully it looks okay-ish. Then again, this thing doesn't look perfect either, so this layer here doesn't look it doesn't look perfect. But yeah, I'm, I am striving to make this look as reasonably good as possible to try and keep you guys uh, interested in my work. But yeah, so let's think a little bit more on how we can make that look better and go from there. While I figure out how I'm going to do the rest of this thing, or how I'm going to make it look good, I decided that while it's night, I'm going to put in some lights. And at the moment, I've gone with every fourth block. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of dark spots. Because the light, this is obviously a light of 15. And down here is already at, what, 4 or 5 blocks. So this is only going to have about 10 right here and... And down here it's going to be a lot darker. But when you get down to here, it's even darker. Because this light is even further away. So we're going to have to work out something there. These ones down here, I'm not quite certain how I'm going to do. Because if we can get pull ourselves up there. If we get rid of this block here, we've got empty space. And now we just need to quickly get ourselves to the top of, the, of this thing. And show you exactly what's wrong with it. And so close, so close. There we go. So we've got the light there. That's actually not too bad. I would actually light this thing up as well, which we want to do as well, which, hmm, we won't have to think about that. But yes, that is something that I need to, I would like to figure out at some point. So let's figure out this thing a bit more. I'm not entirely satisfied with the lights, but if we get rid of them, let's just get rid of this line, for instance. It becomes way too dark to to do anything, and the point of the stadium, part of the point of this stadium, since it's got lights and everything, is to be used at night time for sporting matches, and especially this game here, which is mostly played, which is partly played at night, as well. So that is a little bit of a consideration to put into, well, consideration. So let's figure that out a little bit more. So it's really hard, a lot more harder than I thought this would be to build, but we shall we shall prevail, we shall figure it out. In building this, I didn't quite consider what the view would be like, so from this seat you do miss out a little bit of the bit over here where the white line is, you do miss a little bit of that, although if you're standing you can see it, however the view gets worse as you come up, as you can see you slowly get slightly worse, and sitting in this seat here would mean that you miss out quite a bit of the ground. You miss out, in effect, all of this bit here, where my cursor is. So that's, it's a fair amount of the ground, but this game here is, is set up in such a way that it's designed to be fast moving, so that the ball's never going to be here for more than a few minutes, if, if at all. So that should work out quite nicely. After that little bit of a decision, I've decided that it is going to be a little bit too hard or I'm just a little bit lazy in, to rebuild this thing a little bit further back or higher or lower. Plus, the gap between here and here will be too big, I think. And it's going to go way above this, which is not particularly what I want. So what I think is now I'm going to use my excess lot of concrete plus the new shop that's just opened. The Roller, who was online, I don't think he's online now, but the Roller has just opened up a new concrete shop. So I probably will be purchasing a whole lot of grey concrete. 
if I need it. So what I think I'll do now is start going in the set overall around here, following this line here, so the line with the seats. So we should need another four here, uh, go up by one, and then three, and so on from there. So one, uh, one, two, three, and that should be directly above. No, I can stretch that. But yes, that's the that's the idea. Just go in it over around the well oval and slowly make my way around, and then I'll put the put, fill in the rest with the concrete that I've got. Okay, and these are the last few blocks of the dark concrete that I've uh, obtained myself. So I'm going to have to go over to the shopping district. Where's my rockets? Not enough. And get myself some more. Now I did mention earlier Roller has some, and I did check out the shop. There's quite a lot there. I am going to need my, to get myself a couple of empty shulker boxes though. One, two, two should be fine. Let's get ourselves some rockets, and we'll head over there right now. And here we are outside it. It's, I suppose it's called a splash of colour. We just need to make our way in. That was a lot hard, easier than it was the first time. Now, where's concrete? This one. So there's the grey concrete I need, so I need to dump down two shulker boxes, and it's two dimes per stack. That is going to be uh, rather expensive. So that's 27 stacks there, another 27 there, that's 54, and another, and two two down to a stack that's going to be a hundred and eight if I'm correct so let's pay first a hundred and eight could be a lot of my diamonds that's 64 that's let's make put this into easy stacks to remember so we want a hundred and eight I think so that's 54 times 208 that's a hundred there plus eight there and it turns out we've got an exact amount there, so let's dump this all in and put away our shulker box. And now I probably could just t uh, take the take the shulker boxes and replace them with my own, but I don't think I'll do that. Let's slowly dump this out, filter it out into my own shulker boxes, and go from there. Okay, and after hours of work, it took me pretty much all of today, which is a Friday actually, it took me all, pretty much all of today just to get all this concrete in and to build all this bit. So it's quite a bit of effort. And I think it took me something like three shulker boxes full of concrete or thereabouts. So you can imagine how much it's going to take to do this, uh, what do you call this? The andesite, no, not andesite, the, what is, the, what is this thing? The granite. I forget, the, I've already forgotten the name for it. Let's probably quickly have a look for it. But it's going to take me something like 10 maybe 12 shulker boxes of that stuff. It is andesite. So it's going to take me 10 to 12, uh, uh, 10 to 12 andesite shulker boxes. So if you do, if anyone on the realm is watching this and it isn't too late, you can still uh, sell me it. So I will be happy to pay a lot of diamonds because I do have nearly a thousand diamonds worth of stuff. That nearly a thousand diamonds. And of course it's going to take quite a few end rods and all that. So let's figure out what we're going to do from here. So I think the next most logical step would be to start putting in, oops, to start putting in the next level of, of what do you, what should we call this? The next level of andesite. So something like this should work quite nicely. Although here you can see I've made a bit of a mistake that I should have, this should be one level above what I actually just placed, which is a little bit annoying, but can't be, can be easily replaced. Let's just put this in and go from there. So it is going to be a long time. This project is, of course, a long-term project. It has taken me, oof, I don't know, two, three, nearly four months, I suppose, just to get this far. But it is going to look mighty impressive when I've done when I'm done. And it is that's really embarrassing. It is going to be one of my biggest ever projects, especially in survival. I know I built a stadium once in creative, but that was obviously in creative. I built that on a tablet too, which I'm currently playing on a PC. So playing on a tablet then was incredibly hard and I had to use my fingers really hard and I wasn't and I wasn't really that talented at using it. It was just annoying to build. What is wrong with me today? So there we there we go. So I think I'll just go around and put this on the outside of the concrete 
and we can see how it looks but it is looking a lot more coming together now so we, it is really starting to look come together now Rightio, so we've managed to get ourselves the second bay of the upstairs story and I think that is starting to come together. I think this, when this thing is complete, it's going to look really, really good. It's still a little bit, there's a few things I need to fix up. For example, over here, mainly because of the way I've built this thing, there's only a small space to go around with. So I might actually just change this so there's only the one, so there's only two over here. Let's just quickly axe that, collect up the glass, and one, two, three, that, and four. That gives a little bit more room. It's probably not perfect, but it is getting there. You can also see that I've put in some lighting down there. Let's just fly over there, and yes, you can see the lighting here, and it is, it, while it's not as bright as it would be in the full sun, this is pretty good, I reckon. It is getting there now. On the top story, I have decided to get rid of the polished granite, or the granite that was down here, just to give it a little bit more of a look, of a different look. Here, I'm not sure what I'll do with, but I'll probably turn it into some kind of seating, backyard seating, or just, or not backyard seating, back behind here, it's some kind of food vending things or whatnot. Otherwise, you have to go all the way down here and come down to get these things. And there's a skeleton, better kill it off. Yep, so... Yeah, there's quite a few things I need to work out, especially since this top story will be a little bit more tricky and probably not as much room. Then again, I'll have these corners to deal with. and I'll have these corners in which I can actually build more since I won't have the gate to deal with. So, a little bit more work to do there. That said, I am just about out of resources, or at least I'm just about out of, uh, what do you call it, the, the andesite or whatever, or the, yeah, the andesite. I'm nearly out of the andesite. So I'm going to have to end my video here. However, before I do, there's a little bit of something I'd like to talk to you about. As I record this, we are currently in early January. Um, it's the 3rd of January as I record this. So there are currently a lot of bushfires uh, coming in, happening in Australia. Lots in, especially in my home state, Victoria, but other states in other states of Australia. Now, now, a lot of people have been affected by this, and I would like to put an appeal out for those if you obviously if you have the cash to spare but and if you have the cash to spare i'll put a link down in the description for all the many people who are affected by it and the and to say a big thank you to all the c f a the country fire authority and all the other fire authorities in the various states you are doing a very very good job and we are very thankful for it but yes, this appeal for donations is not something I do lightly and I definitely do not intend to do this more often but if you do have the ca spare cash you can donate in the link in the description and it will go to help out those who have been affected by bushfires those who've lost their homes their fa homes hopefully not only family but those who've lost homes and possessions and loved ones and especially if you are if you are any kind of religious or praying people you can pray for rain just like it just started to happen just like that Australia is by nat nature a very dry continent and we haven't had any significant rain for a while which has in part led to the very dry conditions which are making the bushfires quite extreme. So once again if you are able to, uh, and I stress this, if you are able to, you can donate in the link that I will provide in the description and and be praying for all those people who are affected, the hundreds and possibly thousands of people who are being affected by the bushfires. So thank you for this uh, bit community announcement. But to finish on a light, lighter note, thank you for watching this video and thank you for, for hopefully liking and subscribing. If you do like this video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to keep watching out for the next ones. I will be coming back to this build every now and then. Let's get my thing up. I will be coming back to this build every now and then when I've got the resources and I will be probably building hopefully quite a bit of it off screen because there's quite a few things that we're going to be happening in the realm in the next few weeks we're going to be doing a games district which i'll show you now i think let's fly over there we will be planning to do a big theme park slash games district on the other side of the shopping district there's going to be a shopping mall which i'm not quite sure where it's going to end up but it's going to be under here somewhere i assume and we are we might start a bank because we I think we're the second richest player on the server, so we might be good idea to help our less those who don't have as many diamonds. That's but anyway, the there's going to be a 
gaming district over here and I've got a couple of ideas for a game just like always I'm gonna planning for a maze looks like there's a shulker box look look at the shulker box game this is this is Patrick very very nice I wonder where Spongebob is but anyway it's going to be used for a game from the looks so hopefully this looks like this will be a game but anyway there will be another there will be a few other things we're planning to do a maze i think a two-player maze so we're get planning to do quite a few things in here and we will need to put in some big gates and some big areas so there's going to be a lot of work happening in here in the next few weeks and hopefully will be a large part of that so once again if you have liked this video remember to leave a like and subscribe don't forget to keep watching out for the next one goodbye